Hi, y'all. I hope y'all are doing well. Before I show you my shopping haul of all the great finds that I found at this antique store, at great thrift prices, might I add, I wanted to kind of show you a little bit of um, the store itself and the items that they carry. I'm doing a voiceover because of copyright issues here on YouTube with the music that's playing overhead inside this store. Not only that, sometimes when Dan and I are in these booths, we're not the only ones in there. And out of respect and privacy for others, I really don't feel the need to record and capture their conversations. But I thought I would just kind of show you a few things. So I hope y'all enjoy. I am back home now and I am actually filming this on a separate day. Uh, after we got home from eating um, dinner, it was getting kind of late and I just really wanted to um, chill out the rest of the evening. So I kind of put everything to side and figured I would uh, film what I purchased um, today. So that's what I am doing. I did a voiceover. Sometimes when you watch me do my vintage shopping hauls and I take y'all into the store, I do voiceovers or I put it to music due to copyright. A lot of these uh, antique stores and vintage shops do play music in their store and that's a copyright issue. And uh, sometimes I do a voiceover also to kind of show you what I'm looking at, but I'm also considerate consider it to the fact that I'm not the only one maybe in those booths looking at items and I don't want to infringe on other people's privacy. Some of those booths can be really tight going in and I just, you know, I don't want to infringe on other people's conversations or spaces when they're trying to look at something. And here I am with my camera you know, vlogging something, you know. So that's why you usually get my hauls when I take you into the store with music or a voiceover. So we actually went to two different stores. We went to an antique mall and then we went to one of 
um, our local antique um, shops. The malls, in case you're like, what's the difference between an antique mall versus maybe an antique shop? It has to do with the number of vendors based on the square footage of the building. Uh, the malls, you can spend three or four hours there. The little antique and vintage shops that I shop at are usually in the little towns that I go to in their downtown uh, historical district. And I really love those shops. I have some favorites because I always find something and the prices are so reasonable. So today you're going to see uh, some vintage things I found, um, even, you know, some like, current decor i guess that you you know you find in other words it's not antique or anything but i got it like at a thrift store price so i picked up i like to take things i picked up two of these right here i got well let me take the other one out real quick These are going to be so pretty for the uh, spring. I'm getting, as you're watching this video, I'm getting ready to, well, by the time you watch this video, I probably would have already decorated for um, Easter. Spring's my favorite season. Easter's my favorite holiday. And I just love like spring decor. But um, I picked up these two beautiful candle pillars in, um, they were six dollars for both of them so it was one of two two of two so i thought these were really pretty and i love the um, flowers on them and i'm gonna put our uh what do you um your i'm going blank my candles in them, but my long wick candles, and there's a name for them and my mind is going blank right now, I'm sorry. But candlesticks, candlesticks, sorry. I'm gonna put my candlesticks in here. Um, now in my house, I have a lot of timer candles and LED candles and I love the candlesticks that give that flicker effect. I turn those on all the time in my house and especially at night, Dan and I really like it because it lights up the house. I love candles, but real candles make me nervous. Uh, so I don't light them that much anymore. I put them under my warmers, but my LED and timer candles, they look so pretty at night. And when I put different sizes in these around the house, it's beautiful. So the next thing I got is some children's books. I do buy children's books here and there. I saved um, our son's children's books when they were little, some of them. I even have some from when I was little. And uh, I like to get like a little collection going for when and if God blesses Dan and I with grandchildren, I can add to the collection. Over the holidays, I during Christmas time, I was looking for this book, Frosty, and I could not find it. I'm also looking for Rudolph. I still cannot find Rudolph, but Frosty, I was looking for, never found it, and when you know it, after the holidays, I find the book. So I picked that one up. Hansel and Gretel was another one I was looking for, so I got this one. Love it. And then the Whispering Rabbit for Easter. I'm going to be putting this one out on display somewhere and showcase that book. Oh, and this one, Madeline's Rescue. I had this book as a child and um, I picked it up. I love this little story. Got that one. And then the Prayers for Children book. I have been on the hunt for this one as well. And I'm glad that I found that. I picked up, uh, previously in other videos, I talked to you about how I like cards, like vintage cards. I found these two at uh, a really good price and I will actually put them out on display on Sunday Corp in a card holder. I thought this one was really cute. And this card, Grandma wrote on the back of it. It's to Bruce from Grandma. April 13th, 1952 is what she wrote on the back of this card. 
So um, that actually belonged to somebody. And then this one just had the name David on it. So it said Easter greetings. And then they put the name David on it. There's nothing on the back of this one, but I thought this one was really cute. And I got that. I was looking for Liberty Blue. If you're, if you're, if you've been watching my hauls, then you know my favorite dinnerware stone where is Liberty Blue. I love decorating with that pattern. And I had seven dishes. My goal was to find eight and then anything beyond that, I'm just, you know, lucky. I was not out shopping purposely for the purpose of looking for Liberty Blue, but I was walking in a booth and I kind of looked over and I saw this blue plate and it looked like it had the pattern on the trim because I kind of know what I'm looking for now because I've been buying pieces here and there and they had a plate and it is right here and it's in beautiful condition. So now I have eight plates, but I'll show you what I found at the other little shop that I went to in my local community. But here is Liberty Blue. I love this pattern. I can go on and on about it. And I'm slowly getting a beautiful collection of it. I got the creamers, I got the salt, the pepper, the salad plates. Yeah, let me see where I can put this. Okay, got that. Put that there. Let me see which picture this is. This is the, yes, okay, so. I used to always decorate my kitchen in fruit. And then our first home, I did apples and oranges and grapes. And I used to buy cookie jars and then put them around on top of my cabinets in our first home. And like I have a beautiful basket fruit cookie jar, which I'll be putting out uh, for spring. And then I have a beautiful apple one. And each of those cookie jars are 26 years old. And I had told my husband, I said, I would like to find an apple pitcher to kind of go with my apple cookie jar. Don't need, no, don't need to have it, but if I come across it. And then I found one and Dan was like, you know, honey, you could also use that throughout the 4th of July. And then you can even like decorate it, you know, for fall. Cause it kind of has a fall vibe too. And he loved it. So I went on ahead and found this one. And this is what I mean by this not being antique or it, it is, it does have some grazing on it, some cracking. I don't know how old this particular one is, but you probably can't see on the camera, but it does have some, um, I don't know if y'all can pick, see it, but it's got some, uh, grazing to it, some crackling to it. I don't know how old it is, but for $5, that's what I mean by a thrift price. I wasn't gonna pass this up and it will go beautiful with my apple cookie jar that I have that I plan on putting out. Okay, so I got that. And then this one I just saw on a whim and I was like, I love that for Easter. Again, a thrift store price. Look at this one, isn't that cute? I love decorating with things like this. You could put flowers in this. You could put a springtime arrangement in this and sit this out in your hutch. Or in my case, I might put it out on um, uh, my entryway and you know decorate it. But it is so beautiful. You can even just put a pretty lace um, doily over it, you know over this. But there's the little handle. It's got a carrot. And I got this one for $12. There is the little um, eggs going around, but I loved that one. So I picked that up, put that over there. Kind of gonna move everything out of the way. Okay, the next thing I got was this adorable little statue right here. And this was just $2. And I thought this was really cute. So I picked that up. Dan liked it too. We were actually trying to find some chicks, but we never, we found chicks, but we didn't find ones that we actually liked. 
And then the last thing I got from this store was this beautiful ceramic Easter Bunny um, container. So again, you can put some flowers in this, some greenery, and you can really dress this up and put it out um, on display. And then there's the back. And this just says ceramic rabbit vase candy canister. They have a date on it that says 78. So I'm going to assume maybe 1978. I don't, I don't know. I used, I have an aunt who took pottery one time and she did stuff like this. So I don't even know if, you know, if this was a store-bought item or if somebody made this with their own hands. I don't know. Okay. I just loved it. Okay. Moving on. So I stopped by a little store in my area. They always have cute stuff, reasonable prices. And I was looking for some cute dishes, some cute little dishes that looked springy that I could put out on display and use as a base. And then I came across these. I saw them and I thought about these. And even my husband was like, those go great with that. I'm like, right? Look at these beautiful bunnies. Now guys, I got these at two different stores but they actually look like they they were meant to be paired together. Yes, let me know down in the description box what y'all think. But I mean, I they look like they went together, but they came from two different stores. So I got that one and then I got this one and these were two for 11. And then I got this one. And there's that side of that one. I mean, look at that. They really look like they were sold as a four set. I love, you know, I love the little ears on this one and how this one's pushed down. I, I couldn't pass these up. They go with those candle sticks. And for the price, you would have thought that I bought all that together, but they came from two different locations, two different shops. So the next thing I picked up, again, I wasn't looking, it just popped up. And when I saw it, I told my husband, I said, this is our weekend of finding some good finds. You ready? I found another Liberty Blue. And this one, this plate was only $8. The, the other one that I got from the antique mall was 12. So now I have nine Liberty Blue dinner plates and the richness on this, this blue is just gorgeous. Uh, this plate was very well taken care of. So was the other one. I have some Liberty Blues that you can tell they're a little worn because the blue is a little lighter in color. So the other thing I got, let me grab these out. This is not Liberty Blue. I have not done any research on this particular uh, soup rim bowl, but I'm interested in trying to figure something out about it. It did make me think of Liberty Blue, so that's why I got it, and just because it's beautiful. And it's right here. And it's a rim soup bowl. I love these things. This whole winter when I made like broccoli, homemade broccoli cheese soup, mm, we, I got some of my uh, soup rim bowls out and just, I just love eating my soup in bowls like this and serving uh, my family or guests in bowls like this. But here's the back. I'm going to have to do some uh, research on this or you can let me know, but it's um, made in Italy. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm going to have to do some research on this. Let me sit this over here. I saw this. This is Bone China. Um, you could just tell, but I still stuck it up to the light and wanted to see if I could see my fingers. Uh, that's how I know it's really nice Bone China. But 
I saw this pattern on this dish and fell in love with it. And it's also from the same company that made my bone china for when Dan and I got married. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but it's either Nortega or Nortega, N-O-R-I-T-A-K-E. I have the Rothschild pattern, um, but this one, I thought of spring and Easter, and I just thought that was really beautiful. You could actually take something like this and put some beautiful flowers and then put something like this on it or even, you know, something like this on it and just make it a beautiful display. I mean, use your imagination with that. I thought that was beautiful. And then this one definitely made me think of spring also. Again, this is a, a bone china plate as well. Fill up with that. Then I got this adorable little serving stand right here. I thought this was beautiful too. Again, it's a little stand. You can serve some macaroons on this or um, you can also do something like this. You can put a little doily and then sit that on display in your home if you have an area where you can put something like that. I don't know. You can use your imagination. You can also, I love playing with things, with decor pieces. You can go something like that. That's really pretty. I don't know. Use your imagination when you uh, decorate your house up for different uh, seasons and holidays. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is all I picked up. So let me know what y'all think. I am wanting to know what y'all think about these matching and they came from two different locations. I'm so excited about finding two Liberty Blue plates. And yeah, let me know what y'all think. Are any of y'all out doing uh, vintage antique shopping? I get questions about Goodwill and I think I've addressed that before. Here in my area, my Goodwill store is roughly 85% closed when you walk in. And there's only a small portion, about 15%, and it has furniture and a lot of kitchen appliances. I see other people's Goodwill thrift shopping hauls on um, YouTube and I'm like, man, y'all got some amazing stuff. I've even saw Liberty Blue in one store and I'm like, oh, and the individual passed it up, but I get it, it's not their thing. But I was like, oh my goodness, I would have bought that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by at Magically Living Life today and hanging out with me. So till next time, y'all have a magical day and a magical week. I will see y'all later. Bye guys, take care.